Mic check one two one two. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to the Ebo Sosa Show, where you are provided content of substance and quality solutions to the problems. I'm your host, Ebo Sosa, and I want to thank you for giving me your precious time and attention. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to it and enable the notification bell to be alerted as soon as uploads are posted. This show is sponsored by A Game Herbals. A Game, the all natural dietary supplement formulated to improve men's overall health. Now let's cut the music right quick. Listen, man, listen to me. If you're a woman, with a man in your life that you honestly give a damn about, you need to get him this ASAP, okay? And to my male listeners, listen, man. If you haven't incorporated this product in your everyday life, you're crazy. you crazy. It boosts your vitality, your energy, your strength, and libido without any side effects. If you watch content creators such as The Bishop, Sheep Stay Sleep TV, the Crimson Cure, Young Manhood, or the Book of Ronin, then you've seen all the commercials for this product. But since I take it personally, I'm going to be brutally honest about it. There's a slogan for this product which says, Bring your A-game in all the commercials, okay? This phrase that most of us have heard numerous times refers to bringing maximum effort, focus, and undeniable commitment. It's an encouragement to do your best with no excuses. When you bring your A-game, it means you're leaving nothing on the field, court, home, or work center. You're giving it your all. You see, I believe that it's important for us to bring our A-game in the game of life. Because too many people make excuses to why they're not successful and why things haven't worked out for them. See, what I've found is that a lot of times things don't work out is because we refuse to put the work in. That's even biblical, you know. Whatever you sow, you reap. Now, whether you're a basketball player or a barber, you have to bring your A-game. Whether you're a CEO or trying to get your GED, you have to bring your A-game. Maximum effort produces maximum results. If you haven't maximized your moments, (laughs) man, that's on you. You've got to bring your A-game. Now, there's a link in this video's description section. I want you to go down there. I want you to click it, purchase it, and you can even get a discount. Use the discount code EBOSOSA10, all one word, and that'll hook you up with a little bit of a discount, okay? (laughs) Man, yo, I can't wait for you to try this, y'all. Trust me. All right, let's get on with the show. This is going to be the second installment to my fatherless series. I'd advise you to check out the first installment I did called What Kind of Daughter Are You to get caught up on the subject of discussion. But in case you didn't see it, in the first video, which was dedicated to women having issues with men in relationships, I break down the effects of fatherlessness on daughters by discussing behavior traits and lives of four types of daughters and directly linking them to their relationships with their fathers. If you're a female subscriber, then you may possibly fit one of the descriptions or maybe you overlap. This was done so that you could not only look at the situation objectively, not emotionally, but also examine how fatherlessness affected your life. Did you know that one in three women identifies herself as fatherless because of her dad's death, his emotional neglect, or his physical absence, and that many of you blame yourselves for this absence? And that's some heavy shit to be carrying around in your mind. Now, I wish to discuss what can be done if you wish to start the healing process. Shout out to Sheep Stay Sleep TV, whose slogan is, You gotta heal before you build. And before I dive all the way into this, if you begin to feel a slight sting in your mind that says you don't, then I'd say to you, that's your pride talking to you. You remember Pulp Fiction? Pride only hurts. It never helps. You fight through that shit. Thank you, Marcellus Wallace. Ladies, never underestimate the power of your pride. It's even addressed in the Bible about women's pride. Proverbs 11 and 2. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with the humble is wisdom. Look at this on the screen. 
Pay attention to what this is that I'm showing you here. This is called the 10 Life Values. It was developed by a good friend of mine, Dr. Spencer Holman. And pay attention to what each thing says here, numbers 1 through 10. These are specifically organized into a success system for daily use, a way of life to guide you into a life of excellence. And since they're 10 life values, I'm going to give you 10 reasons father-daughter relationships are important which fall under the 10 life values. Number one, fathers shape their daughter's self-esteem. Number two, fathers influence their daughter's body image. Number three, father-daughter bonds are correlated with academic abilities. Fathers influence their daughter's behavior. Fathers also impact their daughter's social traits. Fathers show their daughters how women deserve to be treated. Fathers can help determine their daughter's persistence. Fathers help define future romantic relationships for their daughters. Fathers also help define their daughter's non-romantic relationships. And fathers are role models for their daughters, whether they like it or not. You see, to truly start your healing process on the wound of fatherlessness, you have to develop a relentless determination to discover yourself internally. When you master the internal aspects of your value, you've gotten the hard part out of the way. The external will fall into place with little effort. So you got to start at step one. Develop your spirituality. And to do this, you must pray specifically and intentionally. In this very moment you're viewing this show, what you don't realize is that God is saying, can we talk? When your daddy deserted you, I stayed with you. The Holman Christian Standard Bible states in Psalms 27.10, Even if my father and mother abandon me, the Lord cares for me. You see, God promises never to leave you nor forsake you. But if you've never knew what it feels like to be covered pray and ask the creator he will bring your covering until your earthly covering manifests because the ones who live under the protection of the most high dwells in the shadow of the almighty uh, that psalms 91 and 1 by the way if your daddy was a cheater pray and ask god for a heart transplant <laughs> no not literally i'm talking about psalms 51 and 10 which says create in me a clean heart O god and renew a right spirit within me talk to him about your specific feelings and flaws he's not distant or unapproachable sister and i promise you the creator will hear and answer you the next thing i tell you to do sister is to be accountable sisters to those of you in bad relationships, you have a responsibility as well. Because when a man shows you he's an abuser, stop pretending you didn't see it or keep overlooking his aggression. When a man shows you he ain't ready, you have to believe him. Because denial is not a magic wand that makes reality vanish. You got to understand that your denial tendencies are part of your compulsion. And your pain will last a lifetime if you don't courageously open your eyes Wake up, woman. I'm trying to tell you something today. See, you're only ready for a relationship when you're comfortable being alone with yourself. See, some of you think that good sex is going to make it all better and that all your issues are just going to be orgasmically removed. <laughs> That's silly. Because you see, when God places a healthy, whole man in your life who sticks around after all your worst episodes who ain't phased by all your little tantrums, who loves you past your pain and hangs around long enough to tell you the truth, be accountable to him. Now I'd say the third step to the healing process is to surround yourself with strong, godly men. If you were born or placed in a situation without your biological father, thank God for whomever he did place there to cover your life. There may be some uncles, maybe some cousins or brothers, spiritual families, neighbors, hell, even your pastor who can be that covering for you. Because if you don't respect your father, there's a strong possibility that you won't respect your boyfriend or your husband. I can't tell you how many times I've heard women asking God in church, please send me a husband, God, send me a husband. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. When you sincerely pursue God in prayer for a husband, his first lesson or test 
will come through the men he's placed in your life. God will use the men around you to manifest a strong presence in your life. He will allow circumstances to arise that will expose your areas of weakness. You say you want a godly husband, so God's going to first prove you. Then you'll see you're going to be challenged when it comes to honoring a man's presence in your life. And the good men in your life will begin to issue guidance, advice, and in some cases, directives. See, this is to gauge your response and test your humility. I call it the ego monitor. (laughs) Women, listen to me. If your ego can't be checked or corrected, you are not ready for the man you're praying for. Remember, if your father was or is present and he's a provider, he's your first covering. If you fail, especially by choice to honor your first covering, you're going to fail miserably at your future marital relationship. Your daddy is not there just to be daddy. He's there to train your heart to give and receive honor and how to accept directives. If your daddy has been absent from your life, pay close attention to areas that may have hardened because you are designed to nourish others. This hardness that you've developed will block your ability to support and nurture and may even prevent your man from finding you. Because see, real men can sense the pure virtue of a woman. When he's ready, there ain't nothing you or anyone else can do to stop him from getting to you. It's almost like circumstances will scramble to assemble and complete your destiny. You see, you acquire your ladiness from your mother, but your self-esteem is a gift from your daddy. If your developmental period is compromised, it will distort your ability to know the difference going forward. You're going to pay for this lesson over and over through breakups, separations, and divorces that will eventually cause you to sour in life and you'll wind up beautiful but flawed and bitter. If on the other hand, you utilize these tools like the 10 Life Values, they'll help you completely conquer your inner wars. Remember, you're not defined by what your father may have failed to give you. If you do your life's work, you will achieve healing and will recruit other women to do the same. Study your earthly father to know what you need to work on, but study your heavenly father to be reminded how he's working on you. Your father designed you to overcome and win. I think I'm going to end this video, but before I do, I want to leave you with a prayer. Now this prayer is specifically for those of you sisters dealing with the issues of fatherlessness. I'd like you to repeat it after me, but you must go back to a time of innocence. Go back in your mind to when you were a little girl wondering when she was going to see her daddy again. Are you ready? Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I'm asking you to fill every vacancy. I'm asking you to fill every vacancy. Feed my heart and soul with your promises. Feed my heart and soul with your promises. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. I need to feel your presence. I need to feel your presence. Help me to see me. Help me to see me. I'm asking you to send me a covering. I'm asking you to send me a covering. Someone who will watch for my soul and help lead me in the right direction. Someone who will watch for my soul and help lead me in the right direction. Heal the hurt. Heal the hurt. Prepare my mind and prepare my heart. Prepare my mind and prepare my heart. And make my perspective of men pleasing in your sight. And make my perspective of men pleasing in your sight. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I seek your wisdom. I seek your wisdom. To be a healthy woman and a good woman. To be a healthy woman and a good woman. A woman that gives life to my surroundings. A woman that gives life to my surroundings. I won't allow the pain of life. I won't allow the pain of life. To harden my heart from hearing your voice. To harden my heart from hearing your voice. Amen. Amen.